Hello, Tracy from Salem again. Just popping in to show the results of an experiment from a previous video, and some folks had expressed interest in seeing the results. Um, so this, in a couple, a couple of videos ago, I did this experiment from, um, I think it's a, the textured cloth, I think was the book. Anyway, uh, what you do is you put a couple layers of cloth, you sew, um, lines, straight lines across, and then between the lines you cut the fabric. Um, and that's the basic technique, um, leaving at, le at the minimum leaving the bottom layer uncut and maybe you could uh, leave more than, more than that uncut. Um, and then you are supposed to wash it and uh, like rub it together and scrunch it up so that uh, she says, so that the fa fabric blooms. Um, so anyway, here's the results. Um, so one, <laughs> like, uh, please learn from my mistakes. Because I feel like this whole channel is going to be about, please learn from my mistakes. Um, I thought what I would do, because I can never just do something just the way the directions say the first time. I always have to mess with it. Uh, so I, I, I sewed the straight lines and then instead of cutting first, which is what I should have done, I decided to put in like some embroidery, some couching. You can see I uh, did some, probably actually better if I just do this. Um, I put in some couching, as you can see. And I put in some embroidery stitches, um, a lot of which you can't see because then you cut the fabric and then you wash the fabric and scrunch it up, which as it turns out, you don't want to do before, you, um, you don't want to do after you've done the embroidery, right? So learn, please learn from my mistakes. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, let's see if I can just zoom out a little bit here. Um, yeah, so cut the fabric, wash it, scrunch it, then go back and decide if you want to do some embroidery. Um, because you can't see a lot of my embroidery because obviously it gets covered when these, when the fabric opens. Um, some of the fabric I couldn't open because I, <laughs> because that couching. Um, you know, so I'm just saying, learn, <laughs> learn from my mistakes. However, I'm undeterred, and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to try this again, but I want to try it with with a thicker fabric. So I just use a very thin cotton here. Um, this is some of that uh, harem cloth, um, very, very thin. Uh, so I think that that is not sturdy enough for this particular project. Um, yeah, and so, as, and as I said, I've stowed, sewn it onto my... Uh, uh, stitch journal. Um, so it's, it's now, you know, it's my, it's on my sampler now, sort of my ongoing, never ending sampler, um, or practice cloth. Um, yeah. So just wanted to update you on how that came out. Um, <clears throat> certainly give it a try because I think it has a lot of potential. Um, and then I'll just also bring in an update of my, um, dragonfly. Um, that's how it's shaping up. Um, I, I think I, I, I like it and I like where it's going. And also I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for the March project because what I don't really like is the white fabric, the white voile. I don't, I have no idea if I'm saying that right. The white voile that I put between the chiffon layer and then the tulle layers. I put this white vol, and you know what? I'm not enjoying it. Maybe when I cut it out, it's going to be, it's going to look much, much better. Um, and so I'm going to wait and see. I'll finish it off, and I'll wait and see how it looks when when it's complete. Um, but it may be that I <laughs> save it for something else and go buy a couple pieces of chiffon and do it the way the book said, because... The book said to do it with a bunch of chiffon. 
I think I mentioned something about me and doing it exactly the way the instructions tell you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the update and everyone's having a lot of fun in the challenge. Uh, really appreciating the comments that you guys have been leaving. It's been, it's been wonderful. And now that I actually figured out how to undo, I, I guess apparently I had had hide comments or approve comments or something like that on all my videos. And so I wasn't seeing any of the comments. Now that I've seen all these comments, they're lovely and I'm really enjoying the conversation. All right, take care. Bye.